say hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to our day. Welcome to our day. <laughs> Good boy. it i just came down the stairs because we just woke charlie up and uh, i just came down to reveal this you're gorgeous you're beautiful do you know give me a kiss kiss the people oh that's your hand there can you kiss them with your other hand kiss 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 Oh, well done. Oh, it's okay. You're okay. Can you untangle your leg? Well done. Try again. Oh, through the other. Oh, good girl. Well done. <laughs> Our kitchen window's being replaced. And uh, the girls have both come over to me to, like, for support and safety and shut the um hallway door because it's like not even two o'clock yet so charlie's still napping and i didn't want them because they got quite excited when the doorbell went so i didn't want them running up and waking her up it fell down um but yeah so finally having our window replaced like two years later part of that's our fault because it took us a long time to get it done because of covid and stuff we were just too scared um but yeah so hopefully we might actually be able to get some heat like kept in i mean most of the time now we're okay now that we've got the heat and sorted but sometimes it is still cold and obviously it's, it's a waste of energy and waste of money having the um the heat and just blow out the window is that nice that is a good eerie itch. Oh, very nice. A nice eerie itch. Wow. 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 Oh, eerie itch. Good girl. Oh, it fell down. You can see like these little patches on her chest. Well, not this one, but but like this one, where like the, where the clippers went weird again, and they like skinned her. I don't know what's going on with them, because they're really good clippers, and they've never done it before. So I don't know why they're doing it. Obviously, something's gone wrong with that one or something, but it's not good for you, is it, baby girl? No. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till they're done to go wake up Charlie. Um, because normally I'd wake her up at half two, but if you're gonna lose that ball in a minute. But if um if they're still here doing it then I I won't because the last thing I want is for them to knock on the back door to try and get me to tell me that they're done and for me to be upstairs waking up Charlie. Um so yeah, so I'll wait if they aren't done within the next half an hour. But mum said that when hers got changed, it didn't take very long. And I'm whispering because I don't want to sound like a crazy person talking to myself with them out there working. Um, not that there's anything wrong with talking to yourself, I do it quite regularly, but you know, just is what it is. girls I've never experienced such clear glass before in my life that's what the other one looks like oh god that's mortifying he knocked on the window and asked me to like try and open it to make sure like it opened properly like on my part and I couldn't do it because I struggled to reach these ones anyway um so I had to get him to come in and do it 
<laughs> very embarrassing. But yay, window! currently have builders doing drainage in the back garden because when we had the cardboard bit builders here um they forgot to put the drainage in which is it floods every time and it's flooded into our kitchen and it does it every time it rains and it's bloody annoying um but because obviously they're putting the drainage in the girls can't go for a wee also there's a massive hole in our, our like the patio of the back oh, garden now which you know isn't the best so I don't have, careful, I don't, no more now then. I don't have my wheelchair because what we've done is we've put it in the car because obviously that's my only access with the back garden and there's this mass massive hole there. No more Dixie, I can't use it. So we've put my chair in the car so that if there is an emergency and I have to get to my mum or Soph's parents or something like that, then we can. But. We don't have it for now. Um, and it also means obviously the girls can't go for a wee. So we are having to take them one by one over to the green over there for them to do their business. And Dixie has gone wild because she knows that Soph has got Albert on the lead over there and that she's next. So uh, that was what the craziness that you just saw was. Um, but we can't take them out both at the same time to go running together because Alba's still not healed from her foot hence why just taking over there for a little way a little way and then that's it so that's fun day one and this is how it looks so far so you can't really tell as much but that's a giant hole a very very giant hole and there we go so that is day one so glad you managed to move that I couldn't move it at all the um, fish tank it was really heavy but yes the reason why this kept flooding so much is because not only did they not put drainage in over there anywhere but here this is supposed to be attached to a pipe that just goes into a brick wall so that's why it kept flooding into the door and made it so that this floor is squishy of which once that's sorted we are then going to have to get them to come and do this so great job cowboy builders great job i just had to share this cuteness of our hugging alba Come on. Giant hole and pipe and hole. Sad face. I saw our key on the bridge. I've gone up to Tesco because we have to go get some stuff and I saw our key on the bridge while I was driving. That makes me happy. Somebody seems to think this living room is theirs now. They've uh, come out further and further. But they're cute. Where are they? Where are they? Can you see them out the window? No, Dix. Come here. Where are they? Over there? No, they're not over there, you twat. Dixie, what was you doing just a minute ago? Come back on the bed. Are they out there? 
Out the window. Look at the window. Look at the window like you just were. Look, Dixie. Come here. Out the window. Over there. Dixie, over there. Look, Dixie. Out the window. No, Dixie. Dixie. Come here. Right. Are they out there? Look where I'm pointing. Dixie. Dixie. Are they out the window? Behind you. Here. No, there. Are they out there? Out the window? Are they there? Lucy. There. Here. No, Dixie. Ugh. Over the window. Dixie. Come here. Right. Are they on the green? Are they on the green? Come here. Look at the window. Look at the window. Look at the window. No, out the look at the window. Look out the window. Look out the window. Look out the window. And again. Look out the window. Can you look out the window? Listen. Look out the window. No. No. Turn around. Look, Dixie, look out the window. Are they on the green? Look out the window. Look out the window. They're not behind the bed. Look out the window. And again. Ah, oh, you're not doing it. She was bobbing. Smash it. Oh my god, <laughs> this is solid. Did it break? A little bit. Oh, a little bit broke, look. Uh -huh. Don't break them truffles, bitch. I imagined it was gonna be. Do this the top. Did the TV just do something? Yeah, change screen. Oh my god. I think that's the new lot. Yay. Show us them truffles, or the one at least. Bam. Cute. Munch bunch. Come back in here.
I literally just filmed these one after the other. I see you hailing and winding. It looks more like snow. It's definitely not, but it looks floaty. This is just because it's going in every single direction. Oh. But yeah. Hail! Hail! Dun dun dun! Ooh. Ooh. What a big load you have. Well, we have this beast coming up because there's a risk to life weather warning oh, for Cornwall. Can you hear it? No. Oh, he's going to love it next door then. <laughs> so, after the issues with the electricity going off a few weeks ago, we were stuck in the fact that I had no oxygen. We couldn't, like, I couldn't get downstairs because the stair lift is powered by electricity. And I couldn't bring the that oxygen, oxygen tank is heavy AF. So because there's literally, there's risk to life, they've now sort of said that anybody in a mobile home, if they can get out, I've just had an email from Cornwall Council. Yeah. Especially in St. Austin, if it does flip. Yes. So, yeah. yeah, it's supposed to start getting bad overnight, but between 7 and 12, 12 it's supposed to hit its peak of like over 100 mile winds and everything. It's supposed to be worse by the coast, so we are quite lucky, but we are, we're only like half an hour from the coast. We're not far. Excuse me! Um, so I went to the shops today because it's Chris's anniversary the next few days, so she went and got cake. Um, but yeah, so we are preparing. We have the oxygen up here. I'm situated up here now, so it's okay. And we've charged up the power. Mummy! Oh, shit! So I've always thrown to see her toy whilst I'm doing my meds, but we've got them hot at the minute because I say bringing up the oxygen. Whee! <laughs> um, we've charged up the uh, power bank that we took to when we went to go see Pink because it's got like a week's worth of battery that can be stored in it. So there's that. Is it that long, is it? Yeah, I got oh, a really strong one. A <laughs> no. I mean, it generated by that point at least. That was okay. <laughs> the email that I just received from from Cornwall Council, they've just now issued a major incident. So they've pulled in all the supplies and whatever they can to be prepared that if there is like fallen trees or whatever flipped cars or whatever, then there's going to be people on hand that can be rung and they can go do it. The hospitals are preparing for major incidents as well. And obviously, like, the electricity companies, um, they've got all prepared, ready to give out generators to people like us that kind of need it if it breaks down. Um, so it's nice oh. to be reassured that there's things in place but it still isn't nice and so if and i was saying like this terrifies us <laughs> i can't even imagine no. people like for example in america who have tornadoes especially in oklahoma and it's just like we've been given a warning but there's so many times like a few years ago in oklahoma when there was this massive f5 tornado that just came out of nowhere and was miles long and I just can't even imagine it. It's just... It's the same with anywhere where they have, like, natural disasters. Like, I mean... Earthquakes and all I mean, that places shit. places like, um... 
oh these crumble okay of places like um near volcanoes we have a little bit of a spat it out yeah of course you did uh is that a whole that, one yeah um because i f forgot to get into oh. it this morning um in in the sense that you just think if possible why why do you live there but then on the other hand we also know that it's not always as easy as that just that's to move away live. yeah because we always sort of say like on tornado alley it's like why why live there like why don't you just move away but then in the on the other, other hand it's like if that's where you've grown up and maybe a house has come down in the family or just you can't afford to move and whatever it's just not as easy to just pick up and go yeah and when it's like that we we completely understand if you purposely go and move somewhere like that, then it's kind of your own fault. Yeah. But hopefully that doesn't apply to anybody we know. No. Um, but yeah, like you were saying, we just we can't even imagine. Like we're scared as it is, let alone the things that a lot of these like places and people go through. Yeah. I mean, so parents they're not on the coast, but they're on an estuary, which comes straight from the ocean, and they're quite close to it. So. They're closer than what we are, but thankfully they're one story and they're like in the middle of two other like bungalows. We're a two story oh, and on the corner and I can already hear the wind wrapping around the house. The builders thankfully finished their work today because of the storm and presuming they got an extra like person in to help. Yeah. But because they only just finished today, we've not been able to move the stuff back that we had to move. So it's kind of in the middle of the garden now, and the the girls' paddling pool has already moved. So yeah, like the length of our garden, and that yep. had moved by this morning, and we hadn't even had that sort of wind yet. No, so God knows what's going to happen next, but it is what it is. We've done what we can. Yeah. We're safe, and kind of that's all that really matters. Um, we probably draw the curtains because if there is stuff flying around, if it does hit the window and break it, it won't come like flying in. So there's that to also protect us in this room. I mean, it's probably not ideal that we are upstairs in the very top corner of the house. <laughs> probably not, no. But it's where our bed is. Like. And not just that, but like medical equipment and where your accessible toilet is. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, I'm sure we'll be fine. That's what it is. Hopefully it's the be. girls that I'm more worried about because they get quite distressed, especially with the wind when it howls through and if there's going to be like thunderstorms or anything like that. I mean, they haven't said, they think they're saying it's just the, the wind and the rain, but sometimes that can be just as bad. Yeah. So, we got snacks. We've got the duvet. <laughs> we have oxygen. Yes. And I can always go down and get your conserver to help with that big tank so mm. it can last even longer. Mm, can it go on that? Don't see why not. It's just a tank. True. It's just all I know with that one is it's not allowed a really long tube like your mm. big machine. Um, yeah. It's typical as well that we arranged to have some flowers sent to mum and for her to split them between her and Chris, Chris's grave because on the 18th, which, isn't, which is which tomorrow, tomorrow, is a year ago that we said goodbye to Chris for the last time and like, who's my stepdad if you're only around here um, and he passed on the 19th. So we got these really lovely large bouquet of flowers delivered to mum. And she can't take them up there. She can't even take up her wreath because it's so windy, it will just rip it to shreds. Mm. Which is just friggin' typical. But it is what it is. She said that she'll take them up there once the weather's calmed down a little bit. So there's that. What are you looking for? My bed control. Oh. <laughs> um, Apologies. So yeah. It's all fun and games. Yeah. But... The builders forgot to replant one of our lavender plants that... Why are you pulling I up the wrong end? I found it somewhere! <laughs> She's lifting up the foot of the bed. Um, yeah, they had to pull out a lavender plant for the drainage. Oh. And luckily, Soph went out to the shops and noticed that they haven't replanted it. Which is really shit. 
is. I mean, they put they put back everything else. The only thing I can think is that he forgot about it. Blends it in. It really did blend in. Yeah. So we bought it indoors at the minute, but I, whether it's going to survive or not, because yeah, I don't know. we haven't got anything to put it in, so it's just there on the shelf. <laughs> But at least we have it, so we can try and save it after the storm. But yeah, yes, all fun. Nothing so we're gonna, though, we? yeah. It's been some very long days yes. with not a lot of rest. So, because even that times has been quite disturbed because of all the Building big and tools and mm. everything. So Indeed. fun. So we'll uh, let you know. How we go with the storm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi, Mama. You can't quite tell, but I'm bent like a sandwich. A one piece of bread sandwich. And just as Soph was saying that, the whole fucking house moved. Like, I felt it jolt under my ass. But then I felt it a minute ago and you didn't, did you? No. That's not nice. That's my foot. <laughs> That's the both of my foot, my tail <laughs> and my face. I have no body though. Just, just some foot. You smell gorgeous. I know, I'm sleepy. That's my foot. That's my face. My face, you're not giving me enough foot room, Mama. Mama, can you even breathe? Can you not? Oh, fuck. and it starts. It's all right. It's okay, baby girl. I don't know if it's going to pick up the howling. She's sandwiched around my hand. My hand is like in the middle under her ribs and like in her belly. She looks like a jelly. Yes, she does. Oh. Yeah. Hi. Yay! So the time is now basically 11 o'clock. This storm hit at 7. And it's now getting to the point that it's this bad. Yeah. And it's supposed to be finishing at 12. But it's extended now. Three. Bloody hell. You are hilarious. I know. I'm going to go check on the cameras to just make sure everything's okay because that really did just pick up. So. And I'm going to continue hugging this. Uh... Pop up I'm okay with it. I don't know which one's my leg, which one's my arm, but I'm okay with it. It's you. Is it? Why do I look so black? Why do I look at my face? Why am I at such a funny angle? I keep looking at me. Up a little. Down a little. Up a smash. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm a little blurry, but you get the gist. <laughs> Currently still riding out the storm in the bedroom. So he's reading a book on the phone. I'm doing 5D diamond. Oh my god, look how good that looks. It's you but upside down. I'm sorry I spoke. Are you stretching on me? Albert's led on the bed, Dixie's led on the floor. Thankfully we've got no damage yet. That we've seen. No. The only things that have moved in the garden is the paddling pool and the recycling bins. And the house. Mm. But other than that, nothing's moved. Are you stretching on me again? No, Mandy. Is that right? Are we, you doing it again? We've got no trees falling down one by us. I've just checked on the news and there has been some deaths. Mm. Which is really sad. So his parents have been, well, will be without electricity for 24 hours they've already been out without it since last night was it this morning i think it was this morning so until tomorrow 
yeah, until, well, until midnight. Oh, she's coming. Oh, she's in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and there, there was more of a gap there than I thought, and I'm not okay with it. I am Welcome not. to... Oh, that was terrifying. The life of Alba. Scoop my butt. Yeah. I'm down, and I'm okay with it. That's um, how she does it, guys. looking at me. And, uh... <laughs> then there's Dixie. But, yeah. 5D, book, sassy, cute. <laughs> well, I'm hoping that's staying like this. Um, power just went. That's fun. <coughs> it's like... Quarter past midnight. The storm has passed. The storm passed like nine hours ago. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Oh. Definitely have your name out there. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that really good? Did you really like that? And now you're lying perfectly on your bed. Well, now you're not. Was that nice? Oh, you enjoyed that, didn't you? You're more than welcome. Yes, you are. Take care. You're so beautiful. Oh, gorgeous girly. Yes. Gorgeous girly. <laughs> mm.